Thank you for staying with us. You're still watching The Breakfast on PLUS TV Africa. It's time to look at global stories that has made it to the front pages of our national dailies. And joining us to review the papers this morning is Shola Omolayo, is a public affairs analyst. Good morning, sir. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Uh, good morning, Nigerians. Good morning. All right, so we'll begin with the punch this morning, and it says, well, the major headline here says, Fuel price hike, reps warn of unrest as federal government labor meeting deadlocked. The writer here says government plans fresh meeting with union leaders as reps demand petrol price review. In fact, um, they have said the NNPCO should definitely reduce, um, re, um, reverse the price. But I want to get your take on this, like, should the NNPCO have um, more autonomy when it comes to this and setting up the prices that even the Repre House of Representatives are just finding out and asking for a reversal? And of course, um, when the minimum wage was being set, one of the things that they looked at, one of the factors um, that got to that amount of 70,000 Naira was because the labor union leaders had hoped that there would be no increase um, when it comes to the fuel price. But between that time and now, we've seen at least two or three major increases um, of the fuel price. But I want to get your thoughts on this. The current fuel price that is over um, 1,000 Naira in most places because in other fuel stations are selling for at least 1,050 Naira, some even 1,200 in Lagos. And in other parts of the nation, of course, it's way higher. But I want to get your take, like I said, on the current price, the fact that the House of Representatives are sitting on this and what is to come. Well, I, I, when, when it comes to the issue of uh, fuel in this country, I have never seen a kind of masquerade Hello, sir. That is so deceitful of the, like the masquerade of um, uh, fuel, PMS. Hello, sir. Can you hear me? Uh, I think we just lost Mr. Shalas um, audio there, but we'll try to get him back. Um, with that being said, let me go through all of the papers um, and the headlines that have made it um, to the front pages this morning. So, of course, we started with the punch, fuel price hike, rep warns of unrest as federal government labor meeting deadlocked. Government plans fresh meeting with union leaders as reps demand petrol price review. Uh, now, still talking about petrol, on the other hand, there's a small headline at the top that says NNPCL or NNPC still sold Dangote petrol buyer. And that is according to marketers. And I'm sure when Dangote, um, you know, made the announcement, of course, he was going to be starting a refinery. Everyone was excited, thinking it might just have a major impact with the price of fuel. But no one would have expected that, you know, fuel will even go from 568 Naira to over 1,000 Naira at this point. I know that Dangote obviously is in there to make money because he's a businessman, um, but I'm wondering what the NNPC, what the petroleum sector as a whole is even doing about our own refinery because if we were refining our own, our own product, of course, it would be better. I think we have Mr. Shala right now. Hello. Can you hear me now? I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry for the break. Yeah, yeah, like I said earlier on, the, the, the story of this well is like, I've never seen a masquerade like this before, mm. where the masquerade, you don't know where it's coming from. Are you hearing me? Yes, I can hear you, sir. You don't know where it's coming from, and you don't know where he's heading to. Mm. Let me ask you, asking this question, and nobody's telling me, giving me a, an answer. How do we get here? Mm. How do we even get to 140 naira per fuel? I mean, per liter. Remember, they told us then that by the time they get to one, that, that if we should wait for the increment, I will never forget. The vice president was the spokesperson there. That by the time this we begin to buy at 140 naira per liter, it is going to be clear that there will be no more subsidy. Mm. That naturally. I repeat, naturally, that between the couple of months 
that Nigeria will be surprised that where we go as less as 40 naira per barrel. I mean, Padita. Mm. Now, remember uh, the Minister of Finance during the days of Obasan Job, they, in, they deliberately increased the fuel. Those margins were not removed till date. They deliberately removed the fuel, not because of scarcity or anything, not because of NNPC or importation. Go back to the ICAP and listen. She said, because of smuggling, mm. that if they should increase the fuel by a certain margin, it will not give room for smugglers to come in to do to be able to do business anymore. Mm. What was the amount that was added then? Have they removed it? Another stinker again that you need to know. Obasanjo, during Obasanjo, the, the past president, former uh, uh, president Olusegun Shegun Obasanjo, increased the fuel by 10 naira. I am sick asking question to date. Why? They are to demolish all toll gates. All toll gates in Nigeria. That if they should demolish those, those gates, it will give a, a, a an easy passage for owners which are Nigerians. They added 10 naira. What is the, what is the purpose of adding 10 naira? That 10 naira will be for the maintenance of road, maintenance of road, maintenance of road. What is the value of that 10 naira to, in today's uh, 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 um, rates? Bring those addition together. Subtract it from the original payment we are having now. What are we going to get? Those are expenses that are added, and some group of people are taking it as a margin for Nigeria to buy. Who is pulling who? Mm -hmm. Who is pulling who? What is the subsidy removed? As of the, what was the subsidy as of the time they were selling this well at 140 naira? What was the subsidy margin? Mm. How do we now jump from that margin to about 500, 600 to 700 naira? Now we are talking of 1,000. Is it not a shame that we are negotiating with a private company on fuel known as Dangote that some of us never believed in, some of us never trust, uh, tr trusted, and Nigerians were celebrating? Okay, if you trust Dangote because he has the capacity to feed the nation, but will that bring down the the, 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 the price of our fuel, which is the engine room of the state, is like you are, you are telling a man that let me remove your one eye so that the second eye can see clearly. Does it mm -hmm. make any sense? Mm -hmm. We already know LNPC cannot even add value to what we have because we just got in the detail that the, the NNPC, I mean, the, the, the refinery in Port Harcourt, the capacity cannot go more than five million. Who is pulling who? We are not even talking of the one of Kaduna that has been condemned. So you have what you are having there was just a capacity of five million, and you have been wasting billions of naira. Excuse me, sir. I mean, excuse me, my excuse me, sir. Let us ask this question. The question now is, who is NNPC in this matter? What is their role? This is somebody that owns no car. They are just like I do. Who has no car but is taking from the driver and the owner of the vehicle? before you can even allow him to carry passenger. What kind of a style is that? Mm. And you say, what do we say? Even the labor union that are confused, that when their leader is sick, somebody who is fighting for Nigeria, his leader is sick, he has a minor accident, they have to travel him abroad. They don't even believe in Nigerian uh, uh, hospital. Haba, haba, haba. That's why our life, they go, we won't hear you. They wrote for one year, year corner. That is what we are seeing in Nigeria. Mm, I hear you. Um, and I think one major issue that we have is um, transparency because listening to you and talk about what the fuel subsidy was then, what is it now? Um, you know, how did we even get to this point? What is the margin? I think there's a deficit when it comes to transparency and accountability from the government and, of course, NNPC, who has now been given the sole responsibility to even set the prices. But how do you think we can, you know, ensure that the government is accountable? Because we don't even know how much crude we, we, we produce per day. We don't know how many barrels of crude. We don't know what is being sold. There's a, there's a report that, in fact, our crude has been, has been gauged for years to come. 
So how do we even not generate convenient. revenue? No. And also, Not for a country who, for a country who, um, from the mid seventies, we've seen that we had the oil boom. Of course, crude oil has been like ninety percent of our GDP. So, if that's something that we've already put all our eggs in one basket, shouldn't everyone know what it's about, how we sell it, what we gain from it, and just have some level of transparency and accountability? How does that ha happen in Nigeria? <laughs> They say, I tell you people, this is your new book. You're not going to give you an answer. Because the people you are dealing with, they don't speak this kind of drama in their house. They speak pigeon. Mm. If you have a question like this, they won't answer you. That's why they don't talk much. But you meet them where they are doing their choppy choppy, you're going to hear five. Mm. See, you are talking of accountability. The people you are dealing with, or we've been dealing with, they don't, do they know anything, do they know anything about accountability? This is a, 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 these are generation that had free lunch and they are forcing us to start mm. accountability in their theory. They've been, they've been piercing this nation with style. They've been monopolizing the, the, the importance of this nation with style. What is accountability? They kill institution. These are people that got free education. Hmm. These are people that have colonial, colonial benefits. What, what, who are they today? They, have, they, they destroy our generation, my own generation. They chose to destroy it. You talk too much. This is a nation that somebody wants to commit suicide. After they must have, have gotten hand, hand to him or her, Instead of them to pet him, they go and lock him up. They go and lock him up. That you want to kill yourself. Mm -hmm. What a nation. What an accountability. Whereas the people we learn for, where they went to study, they saw. So how can we demand this accountability? What do you think we're not doing right to ensure that we press them? I said, when you don't have humanity, you can't have accountability. What are we saying? No human person, everything they do. It starts from the cradle. You saw a man, the father is selling India hand. The mother is selling uh, Apeteshi, Ogogoro. What do you expect of the kind of family you are going to get there? You don't go marry their woman. You say their woman is messing up. What do you expect? Okay, let's move over to what another paper. Let's move over to another paper. So let's look at the nation. Now, the nation leads with federal government offers 10 billion naira calm loan to facilitate CNG conversion. So still talking about fuel. Of course, petrol is so expensive. People can barely afford it. And, you know, it has had an effect or, or an adverse impact, to be honest, on, um, you know, cost of transportation, cost, cost of goods and services. And now there is another initiative that they're trying to roll out, which is given at a, a, well, 10 billion naira calm loan to facilitate CNG conversion. In fact, I've heard that there are going to be tricycles, I think, in Lagos State um, with this CNG. What do you think about this initiative from the government? And do you think it's going to have a major impact in what I, we're seeing I now and very, maybe generate revenue for us, grow our economy? I think everything. I think everything. <laughs> you know, it's like I'm, I'm invited to a party where <laughs> they look at faces to serve food. Mm -hmm. How you go hungry? You? <laughs> that is the mission we find ourselves. We are coming with what? What kind of grammar are we speaking now? CNG. I mean, gas NG. Is it gas NG, electric NG, or what NG? Is it compressed natural gas CNG? Is it with bad A or the gas, the kind of gas that has increased? Moto never joined our model. Don't they sell cooking gas for 1,500 per kg? Yeah. With a whining. Hello? Moto never joined just for cooking. Just for cooking. Gas now is now 1,500 per liter. 20 liter or more. What are we saying? Even in countries, America, Europe, South Korea, where you have some of these gadgets, things fixed, when they know they carry light, their, their content is not being banned in. Yet, they've not been able. Petrol, 
PMS is still the order of the day. We like, it's not only these young guys that chase clouds on, uh, they say you are chasing clouds on, uh, on the internet. Nigerian policies, we change cloud to it. What are we saying? Do we have what it takes? You are talking of CNG. Do you know there are some towns and villages that have not gotten life for the past nine months? I'm not talking of come and go. No light at all. They are transformer has even been stolen. What are we saying? Are you not telling me somebody who, who has a family of Lagos, lived Lagos with a capacity to that we take him 350 kilometers? Are you now saying that if he gets to his town, how is he going to charge? Or oh my you go buy petrol? What kind of a double wala? Mm -hmm. ah, double wala for dirty body and the owner of dirty body, double wala for we enter dirty, we don't become double wala now. What are we saying? All of these things are good. Theory. I have only I used to my, I have a classmate there. Omo, if you see the handwriting of that day, it's too much. Tell him to read that thing again. Now, Allah. Now, he go, now she go right and move. You said, where go they see the handwriting? You want to hold up. Mm. That's the country where we Okay, so how do you think this would be implemented, especially knowing that we live in a country um, that is that can be corrupt, right? So, if we're talking calm loan of 10 billion, we know that a large chunk of that money might not get to the people that really need it because most times you need connection, you have to know someone before you can even access this. So how do you think this will be implemented? You don't talk up. That is the answer. Mm. <laughs> that is the answer. Right. How? When you already know that this is what is going to happen. How? You know, I was shocked when our former president, Buari, made a statement that is so shocked that some people will not, some governors don't pay their, their salary of their workers and they go to bed. That how do they sleep? That was at his first tenor. Baba, when he reached second tenor, I also wonder how is uh, our Baba Buhari sleeping with the things that are going on. They have their solution. If they take it right, it's a part of self now. It is not a, it's a, a, another solution that is coming from anywhere. It takes a leader to transform any institution. It takes a leader to put your studio right. Either there's going to be light, I mean power from the right source, or you are going to put up an, a generator or build up a solar system. It takes a system, and if it's not going to work, the workers will already know that we are not going to be able to operate. It takes a leader. It is not everybody that will be involved. It's not the, the newscaster that must know that there should be power or there must be diesel uh, in the engine. It takes one man. Everybody knows their role. For leaders to come on board or for you to be, to be promoted or to be elevated to any post it means that you have what it takes and these are places where you decide you made up your mind you were celebrated as as, as an appointee of government at times yes you won't blame the president at times you don't blame the president at that echelon mm -hmm. he must have given the solution to some of this problem but what of the execution the right. next leaders are the government the next leader are the ministers it's unfortunate if anybody should ask me who is the uh, Minister for Agriculture, I don't know his name of air. Ask me who is the Minister for Water Resources, I don't know this name of air. But I don't even know what I can say they are doing, except, okay, the, if you now go to the Minister for, 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 for um, External Affairs, 